Hey, it's James at Shock here today to show you how to install the Thunder Lacrosse visor into the Cascade helmet. These visors were made specifically for the latest of the Cascade helmets, the R, the S, they will fit CPXRs and potentially Pro 7s. But today we'll just show you how to do it in the S since that's the latest helmet. The first thing we do is we have to set the clips up properly. Now, what I've done is I've got a set of our colored clips. This is the right way for lacrosse helmets, and then this is the setup for football, so you can see how they are uh, aligned different. Uh, it's pretty simple to, to swap them. A little hard clip just pops out of the um, silicone, and then we write it up to the correct way that we want to um, have that orientation so that it goes into the lacrosse helmet properly. All right, and that's it. All right, so we meet them up this way. All right, so with that said, basically what I do first is I put the clips onto the helmet. We put them onto the second bar on the lacrosse, on the uh, Cascade S. Just do them on both sides. Next, the visor, take it out of the bag, put it inside the helmet. Just be, sh be careful not to touch any of the metal bars with the visor, because that that's what could uh, potentially scratch the visor because the metal bars get it through and up all right now what i do is i have the visor angled basically the visor touching the s here the sweet spot for getting the clips on is right here okay so i basically then take the thumb nut from the back i push here on the hard part of the clip and line them up to the thumb screw on the back and get it started. All right, do that side first, just get it started and then repeat on the second side. All right, again, right on that sweet spot with the S. And then through the back. I find it's easier when you push down on the hard part of the clip and line up the hole on the visor, there's like a little ridge on it that we put on there to line it up, make it easier for you. Then get the second side started, all right? Both sides now are on. So what then I do is I pull the visor up from the center here and pull it up and forward, all right? And just kind of work the clips down to the front on both sides, like this, all right? And then tighten it in place to hold it, okay? Tight, tight as you can get them, hold it down, making sure it's holding in the front at that angle, all right? All right, just get them all nice and tight, and that's it. So now, got the visor in place at this angle, as you can see. The clips, if you got them all right, the shock words will be up, and now they're flipped over, all right? Now, we, we provide a soft cloth bag, Go ahead and wipe the fingerprints off and get them all nice and good looking there so you don't have fingerprints all over your visor. All right, and that's it, ready to roll. So this is James at Shock. As you can see, I got lots of clearance. I got almost full tilt on my helmet too in this position. The more tilt, the better the helmet fits in lacrosse. This is how Cascade designed the helmets. You wanna have tilt on it, but with our visor, you can have maximum tilt, you can still breathe, your nose is clear, your mouth's clear, they won't fog up this way, and you've got maximum clearance now. This is the proper way to wear the helmet and the visor. So anyway, just want to say thanks for purchasing our products. We really appreciate you guys. Um, if you can, just like and comment on our videos. We plan on having a lot more content coming in the future and some more products that we're really excited to be re releasing as well. Thanks again. This is James at Shock.